Hey lovelies, Larissa J here and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Now today I have a different type of video for you all. It's so important to me and so I'm finally going to just address the topic. Okay, so I am a parent first and foremost and also I've got experience with children for 20 years and I've been an educator for 11 years so children needless to say are very very important to me near and dear to my heart I even did a spoken word piece years ago about how important it is that we protect our children and how important it is as adults how important it is as parents or anyone who has interaction with children how important it is for us to be vigilant and aware of what is taking place and just really making sure that we're protecting our children and what they're being uh, taught through content through uh, media and things like that so i want to show you a couple of things first and then i'll give you my take let's roll the video the most amazing princess but they ran away and all they left behind was this everyone there's something i need to tell you the princess who came to your ball tonight was me i'm gonzarella mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so that was the first clip that i wanted to show you all now i mean you saw with your own eyes uh and and this is is one of those things where we live in a time now where it's just like just just trying to change all the rules but i really want you all to pay attention to the messages that were in there because when we watch things when we listen to things you, you know it gets in your heart right so your child is watching that this was this is what got me the first, at first it's like oh we all know this show right this is i mean this is classic this is a little spin on a classic like a lot of us grew up adults adults we grew up like oh i know what that is initially you want to say like oh yeah you know you can go watch that go get on your ipad go watch that it, it was popular when i was a kid it's safe that's the initial like parent adult response but then you get in here and you look at the content you look at you look at what's happening you're hearing what messages are are being taught right because now this is all about just training and teaching you got a little kid who's watching this now this is a message that is being programmed to their brain this is how they're being taught and this this is why it's so important that we are cognizant and vigilant and aware of what our children are watching now this like i said could be your bi biological child your sister brother um uh, your niece nephew your students whoever right god child whoever whatever child is in your life it's so important to make sure that you are screening the content that they're watching because this message right here says hey you dress how you want whatever you're feeling like it's okay we're gonna scrap the rules we're gonna scrap tradition and this is okay if you want to dress like this it's okay we're gonna make everyone feel welcome we're gonna make everyone feel like it's normal right and this is all contrary to the way we grew up you know contrary depending on how old you are contrary to the way that we grew up contrary to you know your your basic morality basic values tradition that we're now seeing has um now being changed and adapted and of course everyone's going to have their own viewpoints on this i understand that but the whole key here is we're talking about children we're talking about i mean this message is not appropriate biblically right it's contrary it's anti-christ it's anti-biblical but not only that it's a message that is being pushed on children this is something that is targeted for a child so imagine now you got a three-year-old watching this four-year-old five-year-old watching this and this is the message and then you come up and you end up having these three four five-year-olds saying oh well i want to wear you know pink today even though i usually wear blue or oh i want to paint my nails today or oh i want to wear a backwards hat you know what i mean like because they're being taught this message right and so i just really wanted to bring that awareness like hey parents hey adults just be aware right i'm not telling you what to watch what not to watch not what not to let your kids watch i'm telling you please 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 be aware of what is taking place like let us not be sleep let us not be unaware and just say oh this is a beautiful golden world and everything is perfect and nothing is harmful to our kids and you can watch whatever you want let us not be so busy to where we're just saying hey 
I've got to take care of this. You just please just be quiet in the corner and watch your iPad. Because a lot of parents are doing that. Or, oh, I'm just too busy scrolling on my phone. Yeah, 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 here. You can go ahead and go watch that. Like, let us be a little more cognizant and take a little more time out, right? We've got these children in our lives. They're here. They're here to stay. And it's our job to be the gatekeepers of their eyes, their ears, their heart. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, right? Let me show you another one. There was another one that got me. And I'm just like what let me show you let's let let's roll that tape too johnny johnny yes papa eating sugar no papa are you sure yes papa open your mouth ha 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 okay that's that's all that's all we're gonna do on that one let me let me give you the background for this one right this one is a really popular show um from what i understand like i said i'm an educator and so i have students who they recognize the, the show they know it well and they love it um and so i didn't know anything about it but anyway i was gonna play you know play something for my students while i was getting their folders organized for them and so I'm looking for like little, you know, kids nursery rhymes or whatever. They're like, oh, I love this show. I love it. I'm like, okay, let's see what it is. So I push play and this came up and I'm like, hold up. Are we teaching lying in this song? We're teaching lying. Now, this is a modified version of the one that I saw on that day. That day, I think it was like playing live or something. Um, and it was the same thing, like the boy goes in and gets the sugar and he hides it and then dad asks him about it and he lies and then he laughs but the, the one that i saw had the boy and the dad were both laughing about it and which is like we're you're teaching you're straight up teaching lying here then it went on to where the dad was eating like cake in the kitchen and the baby crawls in and the dad like hides the cake behind his back and the dad's like i mean the boy the baby's like um, are you eating cake? And he's like, no. Are you sure? And he's like, no. And then um, you could see the crumbs and all that on his mouth. And then they both just ha 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 and just start laughing. So I stopped when I saw it. I stopped it and I had a whole conversation like, hey, like this is teaching lying and lying is not good. Like this is not what you, this is not a habit, a, a trait that you want to grow up having. This is not a good thing to have it's not a good thing to be a liar right but if you're again just like oh we this is a popular show for kids like yeah go ahead and watch that while i go cook dinner yeah go ahead and play that in the back seat while i'm driving you know and you're just letting your kids listen to this that that's the message and then you have parents who say i don't know where he's been getting all this lying from yeah he lies to me too like I hear, I hear this stuff. Oh yeah, he lies to me too. I don't, I don't understand where he's getting that lying from. I don't teach lying. <laughs> you don't have to because they're teaching it right here. And the kids, all they have to do, and it's a song too. So you know those songs get stuck in your head. And so there's that message that is being taught to these kids. Listen, I just wanted to bring it to your attention. I just want to make sure that parents are aware that times have changed. Things have changed. It is not like it used to be when we were kids. We could watch a show and, you know, they might have had some hidden innuendos. You know, you look back now and there was some innuendos even back then that kind of just went over our heads. But now it's like blatant, straight forward contrary to what many people nowadays are still teaching their children now i know that there's been a shift and there are some people who are teaching whatever you know whatever it is that they want to teach but there are still some of us who are for you know living based on morality and biblical principles and just the traditional standard values that we've had for many 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 years and if you're that adult who believes in that you still believe lying is bad you still believe that certain things shouldn't be worn by certain people then you want to make sure that you're really screening i mean yeah you're gonna have to do your due diligence yeah it takes a little more time but it's worth it you're protecting the kids who are in your life please 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 adults parents teachers whoever godparents siblings aunts uncles watch what your kids 
are watching. Like be aware of what is happening right now and do not allow them to be indoctrinated with things that are contrary to your belief system. Either you're going to teach them or they're going to be taught by someone else as we see here. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and share, share, share. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.